The ways in which people, households and communities are socially differentiated determines how vulnerable people are to the range of risks they're exposed to, both climatic and non-climatic, and shapes their abilities to respond and adapt to these risks. Understanding these social differences is therefore essential to ensure that adaptation efforts are sustainable and successful, and to help local communities address the risks they face without compromising their well-being or exacerbating inequities. Based on the Gender Walk game designed by the Red Cross Red Crescent Climate Center, the Vulnerability Walk helps people to explore the social differences that exist within a community and to reflect on how adaptation efforts can effectively address these. The game needs only one facilitator, is suitable for any group size, and you'll need about 20 minutes to play it. Before the game starts, you'll need to prepare a list of characters. These should be context appropriate and should cover the wide range of social differences that exist in your region. See the SR list at the end of this video to get ideas for appropriate region-specific characters. Write each character onto an individual piece of paper. Then, draw up a list of context-appropriate yes-no questions to ask the players. More about these later. Lastly, you can play this game in any kind of open space, indoors or outdoors. This is how the game works. Give each player a piece of paper with the assigned character on it. Explain that they must keep the character secret until the end of the game. Then ask all the players to line up on one side of whatever area you're in. Make sure there's plenty space in front of them, as they need to be able to take one step forward for each question you ask. So if you're asking 10 questions, they must be able to take 10 steps forward from the starting line. Next, you ask your questions. All questions must elicit only yes or no responses. They must be designed to draw out social differences in vulnerability, risk exposure, and adaptive capacity. All questions must be relevant to the location you're working in. For ideas, see the list of possible questions for each SR region at the end of this video. To avoid confusion, keep the questions simple and consider providing a contextual statement before you ask each question. Here are some examples. In the first question, you explain that strong winds and heavy rains have blown your roof away and ask which players will be able to buy another. Only people with enough expendable income or savings will be able to do so. You might also want to demonstrate that not everyone has access to important information and could do this through a question like this one. The local government has issued information about a new drought-resistant seed. Will you be able to access this information? Or you might want to draw out differences in livelihood options that might be location, caste and gender related. To do this, you could ask a question like this one. Drought has rendered farming untenable in your region. Are you able to migrate to an urban area and secure an alternative source of income? Explain to the group that when you ask your questions, the players must consider whether their characters would answer yes or no to the question. If the answer is yes, they take one step forward. If the answer is no, they remain in place. You then ask your second question. Again, people answer yes or no, and if yes, they take a step forward. If no, they remain in place. Continue asking all your questions this way, with people moving forward at different paces. If you've designed your questions well, it'll soon become clear to everyone that some players are far out in front of the group, while others are trailing at the back. Once you've asked all the questions, you move on to the most important aspect of this game, the reflection. First, ask the players to reveal to each other who their characters are. Then encourage them all to reflect on what the process was like for them. You can prompt them to do so by asking, why could you or could you not move forward? How did you feel when you moved forward? Where are the men in the group, the women, the poor, the old, and the young? And what does this walk tell us about their vulnerability? Importantly, end the game by reflecting on what implications these dynamics of social differentiation might have for adaptation efforts in this community and for broader adaptation planning processes, and how this vulnerability status quo could be changed. On the ASR website, you'll find examples of characters and questions that are relevant to each ASR region. Use these to guide your design of a vulnerability walk that is best suited to your context.